Hello everyone, this is Sean, and this is the intro and teaser for part 5 of the 97 Herbie build. You saw before I already got the roof attached, but this time I installed the window glass, I installed the rearview mirror, I installed the back trunk lid, the front hood. Now you can see that the actual... Uh, the hood actually opens enough at least to get the uh, tire, spare tire in the hood tray. And if you look inside the driver's window, you should be able to see the dashboard and the steering wheel. And if you look underneath, you'll see that I was able to attach everything with the screws and model glue reinforcement and the pegs and everything. The back Hood hinge might not work as well, but then again, it's the front one that is more accessible. So, uh, continue watching the video, to sh and I'll show you how I got everything done. See you then. Alright, so now, now it's time to uh, use my clippers to open up the windshield bag here and actually put the... The glass in there and then I'll see if there's anything uh, related to the dashboard that I could actually work on which there probably is and that's will be found in this bag again that's where the Herbie actual love bug instructions come in handy so let's see here oh, I see where I have to cut careful don't want to smush the glass uh... There. It should do it. There we go. Okay. So, let's make sure that the window's angled the right way. There we go. Front window, back window. Perfect. Well, I got the glue ready. I'll put it in and we'll see how it turned out. Well, it appeared to turn out pretty well. As you can see, uh, it fit right into place. The glue helped, and according to what I can see, looking upside down, I don't see any glue or fingerprint smudges, because I made sure not to go near the edge of the glass. So I'm just going to set this aside. Uh, I will set it. Where will I set it? I'll set it there. There we go. It's a, it's up. It's up on the box. Actually, I'm going to set it down. Don't want it to. There we go. Put it, put it there. Just for now. There you go. It's, it's in the uh, supply box. Mark the guide. Not, not the love bug guide, but the Coca-Cola Volkswagen guide. So that would be the glass. Color that blue as blue is the uh, blue is the color for the assembly legend. So now I'm going to get the parts for the dashboard, and we'll see how that turns out. I've gathered all the parts for the dashboard, and I'm going to assemble them now. I managed to get the steering wheel assembled into the dashboard, all right. But it appears I'm going to have to use my pin vise to drill out for the uh, grab handle. So I'll try that and then we'll see how that turned out. And there we go. Thanks to the medium. Where is it now? Thanks to the medium drill bit, I got the grab handle installed right where it should be. Of course, I'll touch up any paint mistakes. I'll just uh, zoom in here for the dashboard photo. And there's just one more thing to do that I can do this time. All right, so the next step is to assemble the uh, interior. Ooh, let me zoom out again. There you go. Next step is to assemble the interior which saw has even the doors on it, to the chassis itself. So I have the chassis in the right orientation. 
the interior is now in the right orientation. So I will put them together. Let me see here. There are two holes on the bottom, left and right. There are two tabs, left and right. So I will assemble it to there and we'll see how it turns out. And that should be it for today. All right, assembly's been completed. That uh, right door is still fiddly, but at least it's holding in one area. So take the assembly pictures. I managed to get it aligned with its pegs and holes. So that's good. Here we are. And the assembled dashboard, of course. There we are. So that's all for today. I'll come back when I've got more done. We'll probably try attaching things to the... Uh, Attach the dashboard to the interior of the car. Well, talk to you all later and hope you're having a good weekend. Bye-bye. Hello everyone to part 5B of the Herbie build. What I did is I put on the uh, trunk lid hinge, as you can see here. I've got its plate. Did the same with the hood hinge and its plate. And I gave it the uh, silver stripe and handle. So now I'm going to attempt to put them on the car using the short screws and the screwdrivers. Uh, give me a moment to find them. All right. So you can see I found the uh, two short screws and one short screw. And I've got my, I believe it's the thinnest screwdriver here. And we're going to see if it actually fits on the uh, head of the screw or not. Without spinning through it. It does slightly spin. Okay, let's try the next biggest one, which is this one. There we go. It goes on the screw without uh, spinning uselessly. So I'll be back when I um, get something firmly attached. All right, so what, what I ended up doing is I actually taped the back hood and I applied glue all along the hinge here so that it would actually uh, stay in place. Because that hinge piece that secures the uh, trunk lid to the car actually has whole metal plastic that'll stick it to there. So actually, I can actually... Uh, can actually uh, put some extra glue onto the piece from underneath, of course. So I've got the glue here, but I'm going to use a little glue on the uh, the trunk here. So glue in there. Glue in there. And glue on the hinge. Just to be sure. Because if the if the screw that's supposed to hold it in place will not, then I'm going to have to reinforce it with tape to hold it at the correct angle. 
in order to attach it properly. So here we go. So you push the hood up, secure it with the tape all the way along. Should pretty well take care of the gap. And should hold the should hold the uh, trunk lid in place until the glue sets. But I'm gonna do this so gravity can help. Actually, I'm gonna do there you go. I'm gonna do that. So gravity can help. And that'll be all I do today. And I will do the attaching of the hood tomorrow. I'll try the screws first. You can see them here with its plate, but if that fails to work, I'll do the same glue the hood on method. Using the plate to hold it. And we'll certainly hope that it works better than the uh, Magnum PI or Plymouth Roadrunner hood that I did in the past. So consider this part 5B. And tomorrow, if I do more tomorrow, I'll come back with part 5C. So. Well, have a good evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. An addendum to part 5B, I realized I can put the plate into the proper position on the uh, car without the screw, I think. I think I should be able to fit it over its tab and put it in place. Now it seems to have some kind of weird hook mechanism. Let me see here. There. Well, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there we go. So what I'm going to do Try to glue it in place. Maybe it actually fits over top of the hinge, and then the screw goes down from there. So you give me a minute, I'll see if that works. I think I actually got it. It's uh, it's in there a bit crookedly, of course, but it seems to be working, and the screw is in there. So what I'm going to do, just to make sure, is I'm going to reinforce the screw with a little bit of. Uh, Glue, of course, right underneath it. There we go, on top. Reinforce the plate to make sure that it's as firmly attached to the hinges as possible. That way, nothing dares come loose. And of course, the, the hinge, the hood, the trunk lid. I know it's probably called the hood because it's holding the... Uh, but there you go, see? The screw is in there. It worked. So that's that's excellent. Okay, so you just have to angle the uh, plate properly. It doesn't want to go on top of the hinge. It wants to go slightly behind it because there's actually a little lip right there. See that lip? So it has to be on the other side of that lip so that the holes from this plate actually hangs kind of like that see if you look carefully it's actually over the screw holes if you angle it correctly but you do it like that it actually holds the hinge of the uh, the hood in place because here comes the hood there's the hood, like, there, you see, there's the hood, and you put the plate, all right, there we go, okay. 
There we are. Like that. And you can see how the plate is almost exactly aligned with the screw holes. That's excellent. Well, actually, I'm going to try putting those screw holes in, too. We'll see how it goes. It worked. Look at that. Screws went in. But, of course, I'm going to reinforce everything with the glue just to make sure. And, uh, but look at, look at, look at the hood from the top of the car. There is a little bit of a gap, yes. And that's why I'm going to tape the hood down, just like I did the trunk. And then I'm going to reinforce everything with glue. But at least we have a quasi uh, arrangement. That's good picture. So that's good. I'll reinforce with glue. I'll leave everything flat, taped down, and uh, we'll pick this up again in the morning. I guess you'll call this part 5C. So I'll see you in the morning. Well, it took a bit of doing, but I got the back license plate holder on the car. Don't worry, I'll clean that up later. And I got the uh, dashboard on the car. Oop, just a minute. Holding by the roof. Here we go. Got the dashboard in. Got the trunk lid in. Well, I mean the where the spare tire goes. And you can see the pin there. It'll fit into the chassis somehow at the very front. Right there. So supposedly, it's supposed to well, dry fit. Nothing's complete yet. Supposedly, the car is supposed to fit together like so. And that pin is supposed to, it's supposed to ease back just a bit. And that pin will fit onto the car properly. That, that's something to try at a later time when all the other stuff is on the car. The wheels, everything. It's impossible to get the wheels on before you put the hood over. So this section has to attach before all that, that body shell goes on. So it is true. You do put all the stuff on the body shell when you can get at the back of everything before you put anything in place. Oh, that's perfect. And now you see why you have to make sure that the hood was openable and that's why the screw plate is screwed down. Not in the other things. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. That's all for now. Hello everyone, it's Sean. Just some bonus footage for part five. And I'm already preparing for part six, but what I realized two years ago is that Mega Constructs figures can actually fit in the front seat of model cars. So I said to myself, wait a minute, Queen Marlena brought back the plans for Herbie from Earth, probably in her spaceship, and Man at Arms decided to build it. And of course, He Man and Tila couldn't wait. They decided to test the interior before he put the wheels on, so of course they didn't get anywhere with their testing. Ha ha ha. But anyway, you can see how they put their staff, Tila's staff, and their shields in the back. Bah. Actually, they put them on the back seat because it's hard to get them out of this back ledge here. 
And so there you go. That's just a bit of bonus footage. And we'll see you again for part six. Bye-bye.